Hi, my name is Yasel. I'm a first year respiratory student and today I'll be talking to you about compliance and raw. So to start off with, compliance is the ease of distension in the lungs. So the higher the number it is, the easier it is for the lungs to be distended. But um, if there's a low compliance, then you would call this a stiff lung, meaning that more pressure is actually required to hold the lung open. So in order to measure the compliance in a patient who is mechanically ventilated, what you would do is you would calculate the change in volume over pressure. So what this would be is the tidal volume divided by the plateau minus PEEP. And then this would hopefully give you a normal static compliance from anywhere of 40 to 60 centimeters of water pressure. So um, in order to get the plateau, what you would be need to be able to do is an inspiratory pause on the ventilator. So what the plateau is telling you is how much it's taking you to hold the lung open with the tidal volume that you have set. And then also the patient is, isn't able to inhale or exhale, meaning that it's a static condition, so there is no airflow. And when there's a low compliance, the lung is actually stiff or non-compliant, so you would see an increase in the work of breathing in the patient. And a clinical example or situation could be refractory hypoxemia or ERDS. And if the many times when the compliance is actually high, exhalation is often incomplete because there could be a lack of elastic recoil in the alveoli. So this could also um, possibly uh, indicate emphysema if the compliance is high. Um, another thing that um, you could do to check if the compliance is low and for air treatment is look on the ventilator and see if your patient's exhalation is actually returning to baseline. So if the patient's um, exhalation doesn't return to baseline, then this means that there is air trapment and compliance would actually be low. And then if the plateau is actually decreasing, um, this would actually show you that it's easier to distend the lungs, so compliance would actually be good. And then RA is airway resistance. So what this means is that it's the frictional opposition of pressure from gas flow in the airways. So in order to measure raw on a patient who is mechanically ventilated, what you would do is you would find the difference between PIP and plateau, and then the normal range for someone who is mechanically ventilated would be anywhere from 5 to 10. So PIP is the maximum pressure during aspiration, which you need to deliver the preset tidal volume to the patient. And then plateau, as I have said before, it tells you um, how much it's taking you to hold the lung open, which that with that specific preset tidal volume. And then if the PIP is actually too high, um, this could indicate that the patient could have possible secretion or possibly a pneumothorax. So you definitely have to be really observant of checking your patient's vital signs and checking. Um, their parameters on the ventilator and what they are doing on the ventilator. And then in causes of increased raw in a patient who is mechanically ventilated could be secretions. So what you would do is you would auscitate and then you might possibly hear bronchi. And then in this case you would also suction. And then another uh, possible cause of increased raw could be the circuit being filled with water. The patient could be biting the ET tube, or they could be any obstructive disease such as COPD or asthma.